Hi, I'm Alana. If you have a baby with a cow milk allergy and your doctor recommended Neocate, you may be getting ready to switch from breast milk or your child's current formula. For many children, this goes smoothly. For others, you may need to employ a little strategy. Your doctor may have some recommendations, but we've also collected some great tips. One is the strategy called fading. It's pretty much what it sounds like. You're fading out one food while fading in another. It can take a few bottles or a few days, so ask your doctor first. They'll consider the length of time in your little one's symptoms. If your doctor agrees that fading is the right strategy for your baby, start by mixing a small amount of Neocade with what's usually in your baby's bottle or cup. Then, over time, gradually increase the ratio. For some children, the process takes just a few days. For others, it might take a few weeks. It's important though, if your child resists, not to go back to the original drink completely. Just reduce the amount of Neocade a bit, then resume the process in slower steps. Your goal is to keep moving forward, even if it takes a while. If you're breastfeeding, you'll need to get your baby comfortable taking breast milk in a bottle before adding Neocade. For toddlers, a sippy cup is a good way to go. It reduces exposure to the new smell of Neocade. Another good idea is to develop a consistent meal routine. Letting your child graze throughout the day can actually reduce the nutrition she's getting. Putting her in a high chair for feeding at regular times helps create anticipation and can stimulate hunger. And that can be a pretty good motivator to try something new. Any change can be challenging. And getting your baby to try something different can be stressful. But relax. Take the time, if you can, to sit down with your baby. Have a little snack yourself. Make it an enjoyable moment for both of you. And you always have our support. For more information, call our nutrition specialists at 1-800-NEOCATE or visit our blog, Food Allergy Living, for more tips.